What up guys, Steve here with Yala TV and thank you for tuning in to another beer review. Uh, today's beer comes from the great state of Michigan and from the Short Brewing Company out of Elk Rapids, Michigan. Today we are going to be trying Critterless. Uh, Critterless is an American wild ale and it has uh, 5 IBUs and weighs in at 8.6% alcohol by volume. Um, shorts, uh, we had a beer from them a few weeks ago called Bloody Beer. Um, if you're interested in that review, it is a beer that was brewed with Roma tomatoes. I will leave a link right up here for you guys to check out so you can see what that beer is all about. And we're going to continue on with this beer today. Uh, this is Critterless. Um, again, Critterless is an American sour ale brewed with mangoes and cherries. So go ahead and take a look at that can art real quick, or that bottle art. Um, lots of bugs, lots of butterflies, uh, different ants, different, you know, roaches, beetles, all kinds of good stuff around here that uh, somehow they have created the word critterless. So um, this is from Shorts Brewing Company, and they have a pretty cool label on here. I like it. It's got a summertime feel. Um, as far as you know what's in it which is mangoes and cherries and I'm a fan of the American wild ale or sour ales so we're gonna go ahead and get into this beer you guys let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open oh and don't forget your shorts bottle cap nothing fancy but they're on the tops of all the cans and or sorry all the bottles so don't forget about your cool label all right um, let's go ahead and open this up if I can. <laughs> All right, we'll leave the cap here. And today, you guys, we're gonna be using our proper glassware. We got a brand new Shorts Brewing Company glass that we're gonna use. Um, I'm not too sure what this type of glass is. I need to get into this and find out what it is. But nonetheless, we are using proper glassware today, you guys. Into the glass we go. All right, as we pour, we have a nice kind of burnt orange kind of color. Nice and clear, nice and nice and bubbly, nice bubbles coming up through the top. So as we take a look at this beer, we have, uh, like I said, like a burnt orange, kind of copper looking color. Very clear, nice set of bubbles coming up through the top. And then we have a, about a half finger of head, like a citrusy juice kind of looking head that you would get when you would pour orange juice or cherry juice, something like that. So. That's what we have, holding up to the glass. We do not see any kind of floaties, just bubbles rising to the top again, like I said. Nice clear copper color. All right guys, let's go ahead and give it a nose. Okay, um, it kind of has like a, kind of like a farmhouse kind of style, but not as strong. Um, that kind of scent. Very floral, light citrus kind of smell. I would say more like a mix of like berries, lemon, maybe a little bit of orange zest, light grapefruit. And then, yeah, it just kind of has that weird kind of like farmhouse funk kind of smell to it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this beer. Let's dive in. Thank you for checking out this review. This is Critalis from the Shorts Brewing Company. Here we go. Cheers. First sip. Woo, okay. Wow, uh, sweet, it's very sweet. Definitely carbonated. Um, the mangoes are very, uh, very forward. Uh, the cherry taste is more on the back end. So as you sip it, you get that sour ale presence. You get a little bit of uh, not a little bit, I'd say a moderate amount of mangoes, then a light cherry uh, touch, and then as it goes down, you get more of that sweetness, and then it's done. Um, it's very it's very thin, very watered, not watered down, it has a very thin feel. It's not watered down, I didn't mean to say that, but it has a very nice thin body to it. Um, it's kind of got a sticky mouth feel for sure. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, kind of clinging to the palate a little bit.
yeah, it's very, very, <laughs> very sour. Um, I do like sours. I'm a fan of sours. Um, this one is very quick to show up with the sour punch, and then you get into your mangoes and your cherries, and then the sweetness as it goes down. So, uh, good beer. This is a good beer. I like it. Um, I'm getting more mangoes than I am cherries, but that's okay. I'm not a big fan of cherries. I like them kind of by themselves. I like them, to, you know, for them to stand alone on their own kind of uh, stage, if you will. So, uh, but the mango in this beer is very nice. It's a very good summer drinker, I would say. Um, I could see this beer being, you know, being handled out on the deck. Excuse me, or at the beach. You know, this is very good easy summertime beer let's try let's see what else we got man that far, farmhouse funk really is standing out it's pretty nice man I just my favorite part of it is the sourness of it it's really good so I'm a fan of that The one thing I noticed, though, it said 8.6%. It says here on Untapped. I'm reading it by my phone. Um, I don't taste it. I'm not kind of. I'm not tasting any kind of alcohol. It's very well hidden. And usually, when beers kind of have that aspect about them, where you can enjoy the beer and not taste any booze, I'm a fan of that. So I say this is a pretty good quality beer. Um, so if you're looking to kind of get uh, get hammered, or if you're <laughs> looking for a uh, sour beer that uh, has a little bit more of a heavy punch to it, I would say check this beer out. Maybe it might be for you. Um, again, it's a little bit on the sour side, so if you're not into that, maybe stay away. All right, guys, so final rating for this beer. I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a 3.75 out of 5. Um, I think it's a quality beer. I like that it's the, you know, the booze are well hidden. It's got a nice sour punch. The mangoes and cherries are very nice. They're very they're mixed in well. Um, again, it's more mango forward. But uh, that's what we got. I'm going to say 3.75 out of 5. This is Critterless from the Shorts Brewing Company out of Elk Rapids, Michigan. If you've had this beer, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this review, leave me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, right down here we have a subscribe button. Click on that button, you guys. We have more beer reviews coming your way. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, we will see you on the next episode. Cheers.